Hey tubers and toy train lovers. I'm going to show you one of my latest uh, projects. This is a Lionel New Haven 209 Alco. Uh, rather hard to find there. They were only made in 1958. And I really love the color combination on this. And this was barely working when I got it. It was damaged to the shell. The uh, apron on the bottom, apron being the plastic part underneath the coupler, was in pieces. And I've managed to rebuild that and get that looking good. I love the fact that the decal is still good on it. But uh, somebody had allowed it to somebody wasn't paying attention put it that way and usually what happens to these aprons is the phone rings somebody comes to the door people run in their trains they walk away from their trains a coupler comes open and this engine go, and its dummy go racing around the track because they're not pulling so much weight and they smash into the caboose and that's how these aprons get destroyed now I'm going to show you the drivetrain of a similar locomotive so you know what I'm uh, working on and these are a bit unusual. I was surprised when I bought this one. This is a 218 Santa Fe, uh, a bit more common. It's a war bonnet, Alco, and uh, I believe it was made from 1959 to 1962 or 63, so there's a lot of them around. But boy, Lionel sure crammed a bunch of stuff on this. And this is exactly the same kind of uh, drivetrain I'm working on right now on my 209. And you'll see your headlight. You'll see your horn activation unit, which is a solenoid. Behind there, there's a place to place a battery to activate the horns and this is a three position E unit this is the horn and of course this is the motor so I've overhauled the motor so far which was absolutely no problem at all a, a lot of old dried grease in the bottom and uh, the commutator plate was filthy the uh, brushes were too worn to even bother to uh, try to clean up I uh, tossed them and put new ones in but now she runs like a rocket so look at all this stuff when I received this 218 I went to overhaul it and it was I bought it as a non-working item and thank goodness I had this book Lionel Trains, 1945 to 1969, Greenberg's Repair and Operating Manual. This is a thick little book, and it will actually show you drawings of the wiring diagrams. And because I had wires broken off here, and, well, they came unsold unsoldered. And I did not know where they went. So, and I don't like, let's hook up the wire here and see if it works. <laughs> you got to burn something up or possibly cause damage. So, thanks to this book, I just looked up the uh, Lionel 218. I knew where the wires went. Well, well this is easy. So, anyway... Fortunately, my uh, New Haven, I didn't have that problem. 
So let's pull the uh, focus back a little. I'm going to pull this off the track. And we're going to watch the New Haven go. There we go. No, that's not how the camera works. <laughs> Doesn't that sound nice and quiet? The only thing I have left to do is, I'm not sure if I'm going to bother to try and uh, tune up the horn to get it to work because I really don't care for the way that the horns sound on these old uh, trains. Sounds like a duck with a cold. <laughs> now I'm laughing and shaking the camera. But I have to replace the decal on the back of this uh, dummy shell and this also had a, <laughs> a broken apron which I rebuilt but it did not have the um, the coupler all bent down and this simply had a split in the middle and Gorilla Glue fixed it up just fine. So I can't wait to get my new decal and have this looking pretty, pretty swift. But I think these are really nice looking engines. So thank you for watching. Now you know what I'm not sure if I enjoy restoring trains more or running trains more. Probably restoring them and then running them and having the satisfaction of knowing that I say something from the past. Just like I did these Texas specials up here. This Texas special was pretty easy. <laughs> All it had in it was a... Uh, three possession E unit and a uh, motor and a headlight <laughs> didn't have all the other stuff so anyway thanks for watching I hope you learned something oh yes what I wanted to show you you'll see this power strip and there's a switch where you'll see the flickering red on it Whenever somebody comes to the door, the phone rings, uh, I'm called away while I'm running my trains, I switch that off and that turns all power off to all my trains. And that's why I have never, knock on wood, I have never broken a uh, apron on an Alco. Doesn't mean it can't happen. So once again, this is a Big Lizard production. Thanks for watching, and bye-bye.